Welcome to the Crossover King, the all new 2020 Wakesetter VTX from Malibu. There's a misnomer in the industry right now that all crossovers are created equal, and that could not be further from the truth. Unlike our competitors who've taken the same boat and simply decontented it to hit a value price, Malibu has done it differently. We're gonna walk you through with an engineer and a skier of what makes us different. From hull design, layout, weight distribution, and all around just gives you a better boat on the water for a multi-sport discipline fun. Let's take a look at the heartbeat of this boat. So the Monsoon series of engines has now been completely brought in-house with direct inject technology featuring the M5 or the M6, depending on the power rating you wanna go with, comes standard inside the VTX. It's gonna offer you more fuel efficiency, a quieter ride, and a whole heck of a lot more torque to snap people up out of the hole. On each side of the storage area, you've got your subfloor ballasts, you got plug and play as an option, and we'll talk about the center and the forward tank completing that quad tank system momentarily. As we make our way to the back of the boat, you've got a non-skid material that makes it easy to stand or sit on, cup holders in the corners, an optional stereo remote control, the industry award-winning surf gate system. Underneath the swim step is the patented wedge 3.0 that offers you even more downforce and all new as an option is the flip down swim step that is again patented. Anyone at any age can now easily access the boat from the lake. So we have a brand new Malibu operating system controlling the entire helm. It's based on the Android technology, which allows you to download apps such as Spotify, navigation, et cetera. You can run them straight off your dash without even actually having to connect your phone. Still can, of course, if you'd like to, but it's not necessary. The boot up time has been cut by 75%. We flip-flopped the location of the Malibu Touch Command and the Sport Dash for a couple reasons. One, all of your boat's controls are easily in a touch screen right here. That also allows the observer to reach over and essentially act as DJ if the driver doesn't want to mess with it. The Sport Dash on the other side is easily located at your throttle's fingertips, allowing you phone access, surf right, surf left, wedge up, wedge down, cruise control up, cruise control speed down, skip to the next song, mute, anything that the driver may want to control while not relinquishing the throttle. Another great optional feature that none of our competitors have is the new wireless charging device. Slide your phone in and it's automatically charging. The new center mounted screen, which has a 4K resolution, making every detail crystal clear, has been lowered over an inch maximizing the driver's visibility, unlike a lot of our competitors. We've got a special guest for you guys today. The number one ranked skier in the world, the queen of the course herself, Miss Regina Jaquez. Coming off her seventh Masters, seven Malibu Open Championships, 10 world gold medals, Number 11 on the world record? Number 11 on the world record, all behind a Malibu boat. Wow, that is impressive. I am excited that you're here today because I want to hear your opinion of how this boat does from the skier's perspective. So obviously I always ski behind the TXI, but I have the privilege to come out today and get behind the VTX. And the crossover of the T-cut diamond shaped hole from the TXI has been crossbred into the VTX, which gives me the same wake scenario when I'm out at 32 off, 35 off, 38 off. And also same feeling of the width behind and into the buoy. So the crossover with that hole has really been able to let me come out do my solemn set, how I want to get down the line, soloming, 
and then also be able to be with my friends and go out and surf or whatever we want to do. Got it. So it sounds like almost the, the perfect crossover is basically what you're describing. It is the perfect crossover boat. So you can go out and you can get your ski rides in, you can slalom, you can trick, you can jump, but you can also have fun. You can go and wakeboard, we got the tower, you can surf with the uh, gate. So a lot of options, a lot of versatility. No, that's fantastic. And that's and that's really what the VTX is really designed around is, is the family versatility aspect. Exactly. And, and so the, the engineering team at Malibu has really done a great job of delivering that. But from a skier perspective, because we really want to focus in on the ski wakes for for the family that's coming in and really looking to know can i can i ski this thing in a course can i ski it open water can i be recreationally um, and have a lot of fun with it so you walked us through your experience with it what will a normal family that may not be as short on the rope or as accomplished as you are how are they going to enjoy and appreciate this boat i think they're going to get behind the boat and they're going to have the image if it's mom or dad that are still doing the traditional skiing they're going to get behind the boat and their kids will be pulling them and they're going to feel the same experience as if they were in you know the txi or the lxi they're going to have that same experience the wake is going to be very minimal they're going to be able to cross the course cross the wakes with no problem at all they're not going to feel the wake um, and then they can get in the boat and change the drivers out from the kids and put the kids out. And if the kids want to ski, great. If they want to do anything else out there, they have the capability to do it. That's awesome. So I, I know a lot of our competitors have started to try to mimic or copy the crossover boat. And we're starting to see them come into the space, realizing the success, quite honestly, that the 20 VTX has had over the years. When we first brought the model out in, in 2006, and it was an instant hit. We've changed it several iterations since then. This one being the latest, um, have the competitors even gotten close from a skiability standpoint to this one yet? I absolutely don't think so. I think they're very far behind. Um, I think one of the biggest benefits that we have is in the hole, so that the hole with that TX diamond-shaped cut hole coming over as the cross breed allows this boat to have the the beauty of what we want as traditional skiers. We want the small wake, we want the boat working with us, not against us, not pulling us down the lake. So all of those benefits that you get through the traditional, as we would say, what the TXI is, we get on the VTX because of the hole, the shape of the hole. Um, the other boat companies, they're just using a regular boat and you're going with it. You're hitting the wakes, you're hitting the wakes or mountains basically, especially as you go to the longer lines. If you're at line, uh, long line, 15 off, at the, the starting line links, the wakes are even bigger. So with this T-cut diamond shaped hole that the VTX has, we're able to minimize these wakes. And that's the biggest benefit that you're going to be able to experience with this boat. Got it. And, and that makes complete sense because, mm -hmm. you know, Malibu is the only company that does sport specific hole designs. Yeah. The T-cut diamond that you mentioned and obviously the wake hole on, on some of our larger models, some of the models they, they're allowed to choose. Our competitors just flat aren't doing that. They're not yeah. putting the time and the engineering into the skier specific focus of that product. Um, you know, I think families out there, they're going to see smaller spray. They're going to see a flatter wake. Mm -hmm. It's just going to be a fun day on the water for them, and no matter what. That's all that's about. That's, that's exactly why we're out here. That's exactly why we're here. Regina, thank you for your time today. Yep. I know your time is precious. I know you want to get back to training. <laughs> Thanks for making the trip. Thank you. Hey, Always good, a pleasure. Good luck next weekend. Thank you. So these boats don't just magically appear on the showroom floor of your local dealership. In fact, there's an entire engineering team spending months and years designing each and every boat that we put out. For model year 2020 on the VTX, I've invited Matt Sladen, one of our 10-year senior engineers, to join me to give us a little bit of a walkthrough of a behind the scenes what's going on. Matt, thank you for spending some time with uh, me Thanks today. for having me. No problem. Hey, so let's start right off the bat. This particular model, the VTX, is designed with the family who wants to ski, wake, and surf. All disciplines in mind, is that correct? That's correct. Okay, so what did you guys do to accomplish that this year? We really wanted to hammer home the skiing portion uh, of the wake and surf. Uh, so we took the lifting features of the strakes, extended them 30 inches further forward, which really allowed us to be on top of the water at ski speeds. So obviously that's gonna really make the skiing family happy. But I thought the wakeboard wake and the wave from last year was really good. What, what'd you guys do differently there? Again, Malibu is always about continuous improvement, so the wakeboard wake is even bigger, and the surf wave is huge. That's awesome, man. That's fantastic. It's, it's, so it's really, it really truly is a, a you know a, an all-around boat 
for all, all the disciplines that somebody would want to, to do on a given day. Everybody's happy. That's fantastic, that's great. Some of the features, as we go inside, I, I notice a lot of styling cues from the 25 LSV that was brought out this last year. Similarities or? For sure, you, you, you nailed it. The 25 LSV, very popular boat. Uh, the ergonomical lean back seating, end-to-end uh, -end thermoform cup holder panels, um, the deep storage or trash can chute, our hard coolers, um, you name it. If it was on the 25 LSV, we tried to put it into the VTX. Awesome, and, and I noticed over on this side, we've got, looks like built-in phone holders down in the cut. Those there. are built-in phone holders. Uh, we always notice when you're out with your friends, the phones have been the cup holders. Might as well have a dedicated phone holder. Gotcha, no, that's fantastic. So, and I noticed even sitting in here, even though on a, on a, on a compact size of a 20-foot boat, we have a tremendous amount of space in this boat. What did you guys do to accommodate that kind of room on the interior here? Well, we try to make our gunnels as thin as possible so our beam is really wider compared to uh, previous 20-foot boats. So really, end to end, you're gonna feel like a wider interior. So the windshield, very different. What am I looking at? Again, skiing is what we really wanted to hammer home on this boat. Uh, the feedback we got from our skiers, they like to lean over and talk to the rider as they roll around. Uh, the, so the short wing windshield really accomplished that. Gotcha, so you got direct communication between the skier in the water and the driver because you don't have a, a side flap windshield hitting. That's correct. It also allowed us to pull our new ski tower further forward. So when you're pulling out really wide on your, on your ski course, you're not getting into the, the tower. So if I'm not mistaken, we got two tower options for customers to choose from this year. That's correct. If you're a G3 fan, we can still get the G3 on the VTX. Or if you're more of a tr traditional ski guy, we got our, our new VTX ski tower. So the overall design is just aesthetically pleasing. It's ergonomically correct. There's just, I mean, I don't see any misses in here. Where are you guys drawing that inspiration or that design from every time you have to go back in and recreate an entirely new model from scratch, essentially? It takes the entire team, and like you mentioned, it takes years and months. On a 20-foot boat, getting the right lines on the exterior, it really is hard. You wanna make the boat look long, and I think we did that with the, uh, with the gel scheme on this boat. One of the most difficult but important aspects to design inside of a 20-foot boat is interior space. More importantly, interior storage. Where many of our competitors have missed, Malibu has not. Perfect for flip-flops, ropes, and other miscellaneous items. Over the top hinges, similar to the 25 LSV, allow for increased access to your storage. Once you've gained that access, you'll find that the VTX has a deeper, wider, and longer storage hold than any of its peers. On this side of the boat, you've got a removable hard cooler, a trash can that can be accessible through a trash chute, USB power port, and more cup holders than it's ever needed. We've also put in phone holders for this year in between the eight inch speakers. The VTX was designed for a multi-sport discipline day on the water. And to that point, we have four tow points located on this boat. The transom, which is great for pulling tubes, pop-up pylon, great for recreational skiing, occasional tubing, Wakeboard tower, excellent for waking and surfing, and an industry exclusive, removable center mounted pylon. Thank you for joining me today and taking a closer look at the all new 2020 Wake Setter VTX. We saw that it had more storage, more space, better versatility. You heard from the engineering team, you heard from the pro skiers. What more is there to say? That's why the VTX still remains the crossover king. And though we won't be seeing you on this particular private lake anytime soon, we do look forward to seeing you on a lake near you. Thanks for joining me. Again, I'm Chris Loomis with Inside Malibu. Have a great summer.